The delegate from Prince William, Delegate Carol Foy. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to move the committee substitute. Shall the committee amendment be agreed to? All those in favor, say aye. All those opposed? The committee substitute is agreed to. Delegate Carol Foy. Thank you, Madam Speaker. House Bill 432 establishes that public utilities may forego the lowest bid from contractors or subcontractors up to 3% of the lowest bid if the business is a certified small, women-owned, or minority-owned business. I urge the body to engross this bill and pass it on to its third reading. Madam Speaker? Uh, yes, Delegate Freitas. Will the delegate yield for a question? Will the delegate yield? I will yield. The delegate will yield. Delegate um, Freitas. The question I would have for the delegate, uh, as, as I understand this, what this is doing is, is it's creating something where, as the government's looking at respective bids, if a woman-owned or a minority-owned small business is technically more expensive, uh, but not to exceed 5%, they could actually get preferential treatment over another company that was bidding. Is, is that an accurate representation of what this would do? Delegate Carol Foy. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would tell the delegate that his representation is incorrect. Madam Speaker, delegate would the please? would the delegate please correct my confusion on this? Will the delegate yield? I will yield. The delegate will yield. So, for clarification, is up to three percent, and what this is is in a is a way for small women minority owned businesses to be able to be more competitive, and instead of just accepting the lowest bid, up to three percent of the lowest bid if it's a small women or minority owned, owned business that can be chosen as the contractor or the subcontractor. Uh, I think, the the delegate, Madam Speaker, will the delegate yield for another question? Will the delegate yield? I will yield for one last question. She will yield. Madam Speaker, would this uh, discriminate based off of sex? Delegate Carol Foy. I would, Madam Speaker, I would ask the delegate to clarify his question. Delegate Freitas, you have the floor. Madam Speaker, for, for a point, equality of rights under the law shall not be let me see here. Denied or abridged on account of, uh, denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. It appears to me that in this particular case, mm -hmm. if I were to submit a bid for this and it was a woman owned small business, they would actually have a competitive advantage. Is this the law discriminating based off of sex? Delegate Carol Foy. Madam Speaker, I would tell a delegate that the, the bill is what the bill says. And so what it does is it provides up to 3% of a cushion for small women and minority-owned businesses to be able to bid for utility contracts. Thank you. Madam Speaker, speaking of the bill. Delegate Freitas, you have the floor. Uh, the bottom line is the answer is yes. This does discriminate based off of sex, among other things. So essentially, if... Um, if another small business was to compete for this and they weren't a minority or they weren't a woman-owned small business, they would now be put at a competitive disadvantage to the woman-owned small business. And again, these, this is a number one of the unintended consequences when we look at things at the ERA. And I think a lot of us are getting a little bit frustrated because we bring up points like this and then we're then told that equal means equal. And what we're seeing through legislation like this is that equal means equal when some people want it to mean equal, and it means something different where you can actually discriminate based off of sex in order to give someone an economic advantage. And so I would just appreciate a little intellectual consistency with respect to this position. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Delegate from Newport News, Delegate Price. Yes, thank you, Madam Speaker. Speaking to the bill. Delegate Price, you have the floor. Yes, and uh, as the gentleman was talking about intellect, I wanted to raise a point uh, that a lot of women know uh, through lived experience, and that is that the playing field is not level. So what the bill does is help level the playing field. So as he's talking about economic advantage, I would love to be able to say that women in Virginia were not discriminated against when it comes to these bids so that we can say it would be an an economic advantage and bills like these would not be needed uh, but today I think House Bill 432 does a great job of getting us closer. Madam Speaker. 